Well, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I'm gonna put some mulch in before the weather goes crazy. Let's go. All right, so I've been uh, working in the garden today because I've got limited time here. We have a cold front coming through and it's supposed to be freezing tonight. In fact, there might be flurries of snow in the morning. And uh, that concerns my daughter because she's got to drive to work in it. But I don't, I get to watch my garden. And so today I'm gonna put some mulch down and get some things done in the garden that I need to get done. And uh, take some plants back into the garage that my neighbors want, my friends want, and people at church like some of my spare. So I'm gonna take some of my spare plants, those with cabbages that I planted last week. We're gonna take those and share them. But uh, for now, I gotta get some things done. So how about a, a little bit of work day and a tour? Let's go. It's humid out here today and rather warm, so it's a good time to get some work done because it's about to start raining. All this overcloud weather is about to blow winter in for real. And one of the functions that mulch helps is to insulate the soil so the temperature shifts are not as drastic. Right. Now these are all cold hardy plants, but I really needed to get some mulch in here to uh, you know, suppress the weeds and just also to prepare for next season's spring. This mulch actually came out of this garden, so it's been here before. Um, it is a commercial wood mulch, the bagged kind you get at the big box store. But it's been here on top of a lot of cardboard. There's a lot of cardboard mixed in too, and we use that to suppress this garden of weeds over the summer. But the mulch will help these cabbages have a more stable soil environment. It'll help that soil not uh, you know, just pull up because of the rain and, uh, and wash away. Um, it mulch is just a good idea all around. So we have our mulch in and you can see I put it down as, as heavy as I could. I used my entire mulch pile and the heavier the mulch the better in my opinion. Uh, that's part of uh, practicing low-till gardening. It's the back to Eden method kind of hybridized here because I do actually um, dig occasionally. But the, the heavy layer of mulch here should last me well into the spring and if I start plant and I decide to plant here, all I have to do is move back the mulch and plant into that hole. This mulch ought to last me well into the summer. So we'll see and hopefully we'll get some cabbages out of it. One thing you're going to find in mulch piles around here is these rough earth snakes. Now these guys get in the mulch because it keeps them warm. They eat slugs, they eat worms, they're a very beneficial snake to have. We've caught tons of them around here. This guy was hanging out in that mulch pile. He has nowhere to live now, so I'm going to go put him in my compost bin. I just put some uh, fresh nitrogen in there, it ought to heat up pretty good for him and keep him alive during this cold snap. So before he gets all agitated here, let's go put him in there. So this little fella needs a home. We're gonna put him right in here in the compost pile. And that ought to warm up for him. Nice and mulched in now. Cabbages are doing nice, huh? So, yeah, it's warm, but about an hour or two, it's not gonna be warm. I wanted to get this done now. Let's take a look at the garden. The potted carrots are doing really well. They're not doing as well as the in-ground carrots. And these guys over here, these uh, Danvers half longs, they've been beaten down by the rain, but I think they'll recover. Uh, they're healthy looking, they're just laying down. These guys right here, man, these Amarillos, Amarillo, uh, they need to be thinned a little bit, but they're growing like crazy. And uh, yeah, good carrots. Got a couple cabbages in bags. These are my uh, cabbages that I planted up uh, 
recently and I had some spares, so I plopped them in bags. We're gonna see how they do. Shouldn't shouldn't uh, be surprised if they don't do really well. That's seven gallons of good soil there. I've got some radishes growing in bag in a bag over there. I wanted to see, since the bag's purpose is to air prune roots, how will a root crop perform up next to the edge of the bag? Well, the ones in the middle are doing much better as you would expect, but we'll see. Ought to get some radishes out of there. Peppers, well, they're still doing all right. They're hanging on. All the figs are gonna be snapped. All the figs are gonna be snapped into dormancy probably tonight. <laughs> all those leaves will be dropping off this week after the cold front comes through. But the figs are still trying to fruit. We often get late fruit. Actually, we get late attempts at fruit. We don't get to actually eat the fruit because there's not enough time to ripen them up. Phoebe, want a fig? Want a fig? Oh yeah, fig eating dog. You can see everybody's happy inside the cover here, including my lettuce there. I'm gonna leave that lettuce out tonight. It'll get cold, but it's probably not gonna get to freezing under this cover. We'll see. I guess we'll find out together. Since I trimmed my okra, which was twice this high, uh, I've had a lot of side growth and a whole lot of okra coming on. You can see there's tons of these uh, pods here. These need to be harvested because that's that's too getting too big right there. It's about perfect size. And when you have a freeze, you want to pick your ripe citrus. I don't think we're going to freeze hard enough to worry about all the stuff on the tree there. All that other stuff. We had... We had this tree snowed on a couple years ago and all the lemons had little caps of snow and it did fine. So it's pretty hardy. And uh, so we'll pick the ripe ones. And I think we'll just let the others go. I mean, after all, a freeze here is like eight hours of 31 degree weather. By the time it warms up, I don't think anything's gonna be damaged there. And I just cut the grass. That means the compost pile is nice and full. Grass clippings, and under each layer of grass clippings, I put a layer of this carbon material, these egg crates. My son brings me tons of these. And that is super, super fast rotting worm food right there. And that's a good carbon source. Basically, it's just paper pulp, wood pulp. And uh, it's pre-chewed. It's just held together by a, a food grade glue, which breaks down as well and adds to the compost. So, yeah, nice big pile of that. All the spare cabbage plants will come in. I'll put them in the garage. They're in pretty good shape. They're hardened off, although they're gonna be in this garage for the next couple of days. When it stops raining, I'll put them back out. You'll notice they're sitting on something new here. I'm gonna review these later. You might know what they are. I'll review those in the spring. Here it comes, here comes winter. <laughs> Here in the south, in Texas, winter is kind of an event because we don't get much of a winter and whenever it does happen and it gets real cold like it's supposed to do tonight, we get kind of crazy around here. We can't drive, we break out our parkas that we wear once a year, we put the fire in the fireplace. Yeah, that's going to be one of those nights. So, here it comes. Hey, thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. It's uh, we're well into fall gardening now. It's about to turn to winter gardening, at least for a few days around here. And so uh, we're really glad you've been watching our videos, uh, coming around and uh, giving us good comments in the comment section. Thanks a lot, we really appreciate that. So share our videos and like our videos and follow us on Facebook and find us on Instagram. We really appreciate all your input and thanks for coming by. Happy gardening, bye-bye.